Hi there, I'm going to show you how anyone can scrape links from a website into a Google Sheet without using a single line of code. Using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool, we're going to start with one of Axiom's templates. We're going to show you how easy it is to configure it so you can scrape data from a website into a Google Sheet. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First up, what does this, this template do? This template literally loads a web page, scrapes a series of links off that page, then writes that data to a Google Sheet. You can use it on any type of web page from a listing page, a feed page, scrolling page, or a paginated page. If you haven't installed the template already, you will need to do so. You'll find it on our website if you found this video on YouTube. Just look for the menu at the top on axiom.ai and click on Templates. If you've already, already created your Axiom account, you'll see on the template page, there's the Install the Template button. Just click on that to install the template. If you don't see that button, you'll be prompted instead to create your Axiom account. Okay, let's get to it and configure this starter template. I'm gonna open up Axiom because I've already got the template installed and you'll see it really is that simple. We've got two, just two steps, get a list of links and a write data to a Google Sheet. Let's start off by configuring the get a list of links step. I'm gonna click on the step to expand it. You can see the URL field is highlighted. Now I'm going to go to a page that I wish to scrape some links from. In this case, I'm gonna scrape some links to some Harry Kane articles. I'm going to expand the step again, and I'm gonna just click get current URL to pass the URL of the site we wish to scrape the links from. That way the bot knows which page to open. I'm gonna then press select and choose the links that I wish to scrape. Using our no code selector tool, it's as simple as point and click. One, and then two to select a repeating pattern. Behind me there, I'll just move me out of the way. You'll see in our first column of data that we've got a preview of the links that we wish to scrape. That's all I need, so I'm gonna press complete. You'll see we have other options like find the pager. This pager, I don't need to set that up for this page rather. And you have a match results. More about that in a second. But that's the initial setup of that step complete. Next up, I'm going to configure the right data to Google Sheet. Now, I did mention that I've already set up my sheet. It's called Test Sheet Axiom. So all I need to do is search for the, the name. Test sheet axiom. I've added the sheet. Then I need to select a sheet name. I've just left it on default, so sheet one. Next up, I need to tell the step what data to write into the sheet. So I'm going to click insert data. And I've only got one option with this axiom because we've only got one, one additional step from this one. So I'm going to insert the scraped link data and it shows me a preview of that data. I'm gonna press save and close because that's correct. Next, add to existing data. That's if you want to continue writing more data, but we'll leave it on that setting. And that's that step complete. The bot is now ready to run. Okay, we're ready to run our bot now. Let's first of all do a test. I'm gonna change the amount of links we wish to scrape just down to four to make this a quick test. I just want to make sure we're getting the links before I set the bot on a longer run. I'm gonna use a desktop runner to test my bot. I generally prefer to do that because I can see what's clearly what's going on and I can interact with the page if need be. I'm going to scroll the desktop runner into view. You can see it's highlighted the links we wish to scrape. In a short moment, it'll write that data into the Google Sheet. So I'm just going to tab into the Google Sheet. And there's the data and the links. I know my bot's working. I can now set it on a longer run. Well, you've seen just how easy it is to configure this bot. You've seen how to run the bot. It's worth noting that all these bots are completely customizable in the builder as well. Let me just show you quickly. Let's go back to the BBC page, open up the Axiom. You know, if you wanted to select additional data, not just the links, for example, to customize your bot like your scraper bot like that, you can add extra columns. You can then make additional selections. For example, if you wanted to grab the text as well, 
give them the headlines. I could add another column, changing the selector type to even get the images. That's how flexible Axiom is. I can also add steps in to click on buttons, for example, to reveal content that's hidden on the page. Otherwise, Axiom is a completely flexible browser automation tool. Here's some additional tips, just in case you want some help getting your bot set up. Let me just open up Axiom. I'll just walk you through the two steps quickly and give you some advice. Okay, so if you're finding the bot a little slow, you can speed it up a little by pressing Configure Scraper, then reduce the amount of reattempts down to one, test it again. If that's speeded up, it's still working. Try taking it down to zero. If then you get inaccurate results, Put it back to one, but that will speed your scraper up. Other top tips are that if you're getting no data written to the Google Sheet or it just keeps writing over the data, do check you've got the correct data inserted here. Just circling it on the screen and then add to existing data if you want to continue adding to your sheet. Otherwise, if it's on clear data, it will overwrite the data every time. Finally, we do offer great customer support and we love hearing from you. So do share your axiom with us, record a screen recording of what you're trying to achieve and we'll get back to you with some expert advice.